Hola amigos, bien o no, y saludos desde Inglaterra. Eh, aquí hoy el clima un poco diferente de Medellín. Um, pero ese es también el tema de hoy, adaptabilidad. Adaptability, ese es el tema de hoy. So, hello from England, where we may note the weather is a little different to uh, Medellín, hence the hat. But this is a way of showing us um, adaptability and why it's important to adapt, not just to the climate, <laughs> but also to our surroundings in other senses, particularly, let's think about the, um, the situations we're in and the language we might need to use in that situation. So let's think of it another way. Um, if you're talking with your friends, for instance, you might talk in a different kind of way to perhaps the way you might speak to your boss or to strangers you met on the metro or that traffic policeman that's um, asking you questions about your driving style. Each of these situations would require us perhaps to adapt to the company we're with and use the right type of words and phrases to help us in those situations. So how do we know? How can we practice that? Well, some of this is listening very carefully to when we're in those type of situations and thinking hard about, okay, so what kind of, um, what kind of phrases do we normally use in those situations? And as well as that, we can start to practice looking at the more subtle aspects of communication, which is not just um, what we hear, also what we see. Now, I was reminded of this on my trip um, back to England uh, yesterday on the airplane. My neighbour was watching um, an episode of Friends, that famous sitcom. Um, now, I know this because I could see the screen, but I couldn't hear what was being said because he was wearing headphones. Um, but I knew I was watching a comedy, not just because I recognised it as the episode of Friends. I could tell it was a comedy because of the way the actors were moving, you know, kind of gestures they're making, as if they're smiling, laughing, this kind of thing. So if you think carefully about that, Next time you're out with your friends, think of it like a, a show with the volume turned off. Look at the way people move, you know, look at their facial expressions, this kind of thing. Think about what tells you from that what you're talking about. How can you guess? So in some ways, watching TV with the sound off for a bit will give you an interesting look at what you're really listening to. Since you're reading the signs of the conversation, um, it gives you clues as to whether you're about to enter a serious conversation, um, maybe perhaps a uh, angry or threatening one, or whether you're entering a, a very sociable and uh, happy conversation. But why practice this? Well, until we're at a very fluent level, we might miss some of the subtleties of the communication in terms of what we hear. So sometimes, for instance, it's hard to know for sure whether was that really a joke we're sharing or was that person saying something because they um, meant it in more of a, a negative or a correcting kind of way. Um, you know, were they really trying to insult me or were they just trying to share a joke? How do I know the difference? Um, a lot of that is in the way they're communicating with their body language or other behavior. You can tell a lot from that, as well as things like tone of voice. Even if you haven't quite understood exactly what they said. So have a think about that one. When we're trying to adapt to the situation we're in, the circumstances, that group of people we're with, um, remember, it's not necessarily always about the, uh, the language they're using, but often that's a part of it. But if we get uh, more adapted to looking at the other clues we're getting in that situation that's going to help us interpret what's going on and then we're better able to adapt our language more appropriately to the situation we're in so uh, that's the idea for the day déjame saber en los comentarios como siempre but for now from uh, well <laughs> a slightly fresher England <laughs> We'll say cheerio.